What is going on good people of YouTube? It is me Chavez back with another prize picks video for you. Today is Thursday, April 20th, 2023. And we're talking NBA player props over on prize picks. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We will kick things off with a quick recap over not just yesterday's plays, but a quick recap over our six pick flex that we built together. And then we'll transition back to the prize picks board and we'll go over four player props that I like and I'll share with you why I like them. So if you like the way that sounds, stick around, drop a like, drop a sub, click the notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel. And without further delay, let's jump into those plays from yesterday. All right, another solid day for us. Three and one on the day. Can't be mad about that. So close to a four and zero sweep. But let's talk about these plays. Desmond Bain falls under player prop, or falls under his player prop. The assists were just not were just not his thing yesterday. He was scoring, or at least trying to score, uh, putting up a lot of shots. Just wasn't in facilitation mode. But um, the other three props, man, we clear those. And that was fun to watch. So we had Carl Anthony Towns over rebounds. We had Struess, Max Struess over rebounds. And Gabe Vincent came through over nine and a half points. So three and one on the day. Looking to uh, continue this momentum into today and go 4 0. We need a 4 0 sweep. It's been a while. 4 0 sweep with these four player props. So before we do that, let's quickly roll through our. our um, six pick flex that we built together yesterday and talk about some of these plays all right a little frustrating with this slip because the blowout in miami really hurt jimmy butler's chances of getting his assist prop i mentioned desmond bain uh earlier but man he was on fire to start the game and just really didn't continue that in the second half mike conley fell just short of his 27 and a half fantasy score and then Jaron Jackson probably infuriates me the most because 0.3 away from going over. Not that he did anything particularly bad in that game, but just watching him, his uninvolvement in the offense in the first half especially, him just sitting in the corner, letting Desmond Bain run the show. He wasn't posting up. It was just weird. Uh, I didn't really like what I saw. We're hoping for you know you know a bit more activity in the points department from him. It just didn't get it done yesterday. I mean, I feel like looking at the box score, they got Xavier Tillman and uh, Jaron Jackson's stat line mixed up because that's the kind of performance I was expecting from Jaron Jackson. I mean, Tillman stole the show yesterday, but kudos to you if you play Tillman, uh, Xavier Tillman's props yesterday. We did not. We finished two and four on this slip. We'll be looking to do something like this pretty soon. Uh, we'll run it back again, but uh, definitely had a lot of fun with this one and really appreciate all the support and the engagement uh and in, in just putting up your uh, your player props yesterday and and uh having a little fun with me so thank you all so much for uh allowing this to happen and uh we now move on to some, to some player props for today let's tr uh, transition on over to the prize picks board and talk about these all right first player prop on the board is tory craig uh point prop every time i see this dude's name i think of Friday. Craig, man. Um, Tory Craig, eight and a half points. I like the over on, on Craig today. How do you get fired on your day off? Let's head on over to props.cash and talk about this prop. All right, we're pulling up Tory Craig's last 10 games. We can see that he's had some success in hitting this prop. Two of those games came against this Clippers team going for 22 and 17. Now, do I think he goes for 22 or 17 points in every game? No, I don't. But we don't need him to do that. We need him to get us nine points today. I think he can do that. He can get nine points and he can he can sit his ass down. That's, I mean, it's not DFS where he we, we need him to score as many points as he can possibly score. He needs to hit a prop. He needs to get nine. We don't get extra points for him scoring 20. So nine points is what we need. And I think we can get that from him. 27 minutes in each, at least 27 minutes in each of those uh, first two playoff games. Taking an average of 10 shots a game, 12 and 9 over the first two playoff games. Very efficient from the field. He typically is a very efficient shooter if you look back at the past games here. And then his three-pointers are falling. I mean, over 50% in the first game, over 60% in the second game. 
All this looks good. I don't see any of this changing today versus the Clippers. First, uh, first game in LA in this series. We'll see how he plays on the road, but I just think nine points, it's too low. It's the way I felt about the Gabe Vincent point prop yesterday. Took the over on that one, and you saw how that worked out for us. So give me the over, Torrey Craig, eight and a half points today versus the Los Angeles Clippers. All right, and for our final three props on the day, we're sticking in the same sticking in the same game on the same team. And I want to talk about some Golden State Warriors here. I want to first talk about Klay Thompson's rebound prop set to four and a half. Um, I like I like this man. I think this is too low for him. We're gonna head on over to props.cash. I'll show you why I think that, and then uh, you can decide for yourself. All right, looking at the past 10 games for Clay Thompson, I'm gonna show you what this looks like with some filters added, some splits added, but he doesn't need any of that. I mean, he's rebounding at a very efficient rate over the past 10 games, six out of his last 10, giving you a minimum of five in, in a lot of those games, six, you know, six rebounds and a couple here. Now, some of the splits I was talking about were home splits versus away splits, and we can see that it's still five, you know, five games he's gone over, but now he's on a little bit of a decline over those past or over those last three games at home. Filter out Draymond Green from this equation, and this lights up like the 4th of July. So, last two games at home with Clay Thompson, uh, without Draymond Green on the floor, Clay's gone over this. Last season without Draymond Green on the floor at home, Clay Thompson, you know, really benefited from from that. We can see that this looks a lot different when Green is not on the floor and they are playing at home. Now, overall, when Green is not on the floor, Clay Thompson's numbers are still pretty good. So, this is a prop that he's, you know had success with hitting regardless of the venue and regardless of who is in or not in the lineup. So I really like the over on this one for Clay Thompson. I think he can get it done for us. And this is going to correlate very well with our next player prop for Clay Thompson. So we're going to head on over to the first half player prop category and take a look at his 15 and a half first half PRA. I like the over on this one too. All right, so back to props.cash. We can see that Klay Thompson uh, PRA is actually 15 and a half. So two out of his last 10 games, this is, you know, all games, all people, all players available. So now let's start toggling some of these splits. Go to home splits versus uh, all splits. We can see that this doesn't change all that much. And then we're going to take, uh, we're going to take Draymond Green out of this equation. And four out of his last 10 look good. Last three home games without Draymond Green look good. But look at these averages. Man, they pop out at us. Now, again, 15 and a half. This looks really good for Klay Thompson. And not just looking at these numbers and saying, oh, what happened in the past is going to happen in the present or the future. But you have, to, you have to factor in the circumstances of Draymond Green not being on the floor. That's a huge absence. The last time the Warriors lost an opening round series was 2013 against the Clippers. 10 years ago. They're down 0 and 2. Clay and Clay Curry and Wiggins, they have to play hard today. They have to step up. And just I think it's I think it's okay to expect a great performance from these guys. They have to get it done. So, with that being said, and we already like his rebounds, it's possible that he can get four rebounds for us in the first half and, you know, help his PRA prop out a bit with that rebound prop so i like the way these two kind of correlate with each other today versus the sacramento kings give me the over on both of those player props for clay thompson and for our final player prop on the board we're gonna head over uh we're gonna head over we're gonna stay in the same game and talk about steph curry threes over four and a half i like it i like it let's head on over to props.cash and i'll tell you why i like it all right, pulling up the last 10 games for Steph Curry, we can see that he's gone over this line four out of his 10, four out of the last 10 games. Now, without Draymond in the lineup, it doesn't um, it doesn't look like anything because there's no sample size. So that one really is irrelevant to us. Now, Curry at home versus Curry on the road. Um, so the first screen I showed you was uh, the home the home split. So this is the all split. So. Five out of his last 10 games, he's gone over this, regardless of where the game is being played. Now, home games, four out of his last 10 games. 
but still very strong numbers. Now, the reason I like this is, believe it or not, I think there's some room for some positive regression here with Steph Curry, who, to be honest with you, has not really, um, he's not really shot that well in the first two games of this series. I don't think he shot that well. I mean, do you think three of 13 is a good in the shooting night? Do you think uh, six of 14 for Steph Curry is a good shooting night? I think, you know, seven three-pointers, six three-pointers every game is like pretty, uh, like pretty standard for Curry. So in my opinion, he's below what we're used to seeing from him. His minutes are there. The shot volume is there. We don't need him to shoot more. We just need him to make more shots. So if he's going to continue to take 20 plus shots a game in these playoff games, you know, and 14, 13 of those are going to be, you know, three pointers, then he has to make over 50% of these threes. He has to. If he can do that, he's going to put himself in the spot to go over four and a half three pointers made. And much like I said with Clay, this is a must win game for the Warriors, man. Like they cannot go down 0 and 3 against a Sacramento defense that is still allowing a ton of threes and a lot of threes to go in. So the matchup is there. The venue is there. The circumstances are, are dire right now. So give me the over. Uh, give me the over on all the damn Warrior props. But in today's video, we're talking about Clay and Curry over their player props and Torrey Craig over his eight and a half point prop against the Clippers. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's player prop video for prize picks. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these picks. Also, let me know who you have your eyes on on the prize picks board. As always, thank you all so much for all the continued support, the likes, the subs, and all the comments because each and every one of those things allows this channel to get a bit bigger every single day. So, Thank you all so very much. Best of luck to you all tonight, especially if you tail any, any of these plays. And until tomorrow's NBA player prop prize picks video, Chavez is